Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to show you some G flutes that I'm about to add to the website. Um, let's get started. I'm going to give you a quick demo of each one and talk a little bit about the wood and what I think is special about the flute. Um, I have three in Western Red Cedar. I'm actually going to upload a few more Western Red Cedar ones, but I will do a separate video for those. Um, because those are part of a, a set that were all made together and I want to do a special video on those. Um, but I will be uploading these three Western Red Cedars. We've got one fairly light one and two much darker ones. So let's take a look. This one was just made out of such a beautiful piece of wood I decided it was too spectacular to make a basic out of. Uh, look at that color. It just has such a unique color. It has these really cool, um, like dark stripes in the grain that are like, this one is even just kind of outlined. Uh, I've, I've not seen that very many times. Sometimes cedar just looks so different. I see we make more cedar flutes than any other kind of flute, so I see a lot of cedar. This is western red cedar, and it every once in a while it just amazes me how pretty it is. Um, this is a lightweight softwood flute. Um, that's going to give it a little bit more of a resonant vibration within the flute that you can feel through your fingers. Uh, it will need to be protected if you're going to travel with it because it's soft and it will dent fairly easily. But um, really the, the quality of the voice is just so good on these softwood flutes. Yes, it has a really nice voice. Um, I really love the way cedar sounds. Here, let's see, let's take a look at this light one next. This one is um, a little bit heavier. It's It's got the same, about the same thick wall thickness as the other one, but it just feels like a denser piece of cedar. It has all these really cool knots. And it has a really big one here. I love things like that. It just, like, you could just stare into that. You can actually count the rings on the knots there on the side. So yeah, this one feels a little more dense than the one I was just playing. It's a little heavier. It's still a soft, lightweight wood. I'd say that has a very clear voice for Western Red Cedar. Not quite as breathy um, or mellow sounding as cedar often is. This one is so cool. This one just has like, look at that. It has all these tiger stripes in it. Kind of speckles here along the side. I love cedar. Look how cool that is. Nice big swoop there. Fairly lightweight. Oh, let me put my block on straight. <clears throat> that might be my favorite of all three. That one has a really resonant voice and it just sounds so good. It actually feels really good to play it. All right, let's see. Poplar. Poplar is such a nice wood to work with. It has it has almost no visible grain. I mean, it does have grain if you look if you look for it, but it's a very like dense and um, tight grain wood. It's kind of a uniform color, which is it never comes out quite 
the right color in my pictures or in the videos, but it's kind of a green yellow color. Very, very light. This one's very light colored. <clears throat> um, poplar is a hardwood that is fairly soft. <coughs> Excuse me. I would rate it uh, fairly similar to Douglas fir. Um, so it it's it is technically a hardwood because the tree has leaves and not needles, but it is a very soft and lightweight hardwood. It has a it has kind of some of the qualities of both a hardwood and a softwood. So. <laughs> Again, you can feel a little bit more of a vibration in the flute, not quite as much as with the cedar, and um, it's not going to dent ne nearly as easily as cedar, but I would say that it's going to dent a little easier than uh, walnut or cherry. This one is cherry. This is a much harder wood. Cherry is this beautiful rosy color, and it will get um, darker and darker with age. It always has this, I don't know if you can, can get the light to catch this, but it has this like shimmery kind of grain, like a very subtle waviness to the grain. Um, it's really a beautiful wood. And cherry, I always feel like cherry has this a, a wonderful, sweet quality to um, the voice. So this one has a little bit of a mellower voice. Again, it has that sweet quality. Um, just a really nice flute. It's actually fairly lightweight for a hardwood. I've got an iron stained cedar. It's kind of a light, a lighter colored one. Well, it has a lighter stripe in it, which I thought was really interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but um, the stain that we use on these is a um, is a vinegar um, and steel wool stain. So it goes on clear, and then it darkens. Uh, has a reaction to the the tannins that are naturally in the wood. So each piece of wood um, will take the stain differently and you don't see it until they dry. It just kind of darkens and darkens as they're drying as it's basically having a reaction with the tannins. And then in a piece like this, it's like one of the parts of the flute must have had less tannins in it. There's like something different about the grain. So it resisted the stain a little bit or the stain just like didn't, it might have had a light stripe in the flute itself. So it's really cool. a really nice full voice. It's really nice to play. Mm, one of my favorites. This one is Spanish theater. This wood, it smells so good. It's like this wonderful spicy smell. Um, and you can really smell it through the, through the, uh, I'm looking at this to see if this is a crack or just part of the grain. This one has, ooh, look, this one has a little bit of a stabilized crack here, I think. Oh man, it might be the grain. No, I think it's a stabilized crack. Here, let's see. Yeah. Because it kind of goes a little, can you see it? It's right there. So I'll reduce the price of this one a little bit. A crack like that doesn't, it's like a, most likely it's an in check that was in the board and it's been stabilized so that's not a structural issue at all I mean you can see it and it might bother some people but this one has look at that grain it's like it's like flame and the flute is kind of an orange color too oh it's so pretty I really love this wood if you like 
nice smelling things, this is the flute for you because you can smell it when you play and it's just like the most delightful smell. too. Ooh, last but not least, Bird's Eye Maple. This was, this is a very sought after wood. We get a lot of requests for it. Um, it's beautiful and it's very, very hard. So it has, this actually has like waviness like curly maple, but it also has the little dapples of bird's eye. Oh, it's so pretty. It just catches that light and shimmers and changes. And this wood is like rock hard. It's, I was, when I was uh, voicing this, I was trying to lengthen the, the fiddle hole a little bit to improve the voice and oh my gosh, it does not even want to file at all with a metal file. So it's like, it's probably not as hard as ebony, but it's very, very hard. It's it's frustrating to work with when you're sanding it and carving it. Um, but once it's made, they have a spectacular voice and they are so durable. just has such a clear bright voice it has fairly small fingering holes too so it'd be good for somebody with smaller fingers okay well that's all the flutes I'm uploading for today um, I like making these videos let me know what you think uh, like and subscribe thanks for watching